civil uh, licensing and, uh, and other types of music placement agencies here in the Los Angeles area. So uh, we're really, really glad to have you out, and uh, you know, we're going to also have a question and answer session very, very soon as well. You know, as we take a look at this music and film situation, we really want to focus on the artistic impact that these that the songs or the music cues can have in your film. Whether it's from the person that you pick to do the scoring, which is one level of the music and film, or the music cues, which are actual songs that go into the film. When we look at that process of what the music or music cues in a film, or even the scoring in a film, uh, can create, can evoke for anyone watching a film. Uh, Ruben, can you tell us about that process and what you found and how that has uh, either differentiated the success or non-success of any of the projects that you've been working on? Well, for me, uh, music is an intricate part of it, anything I do. Whenever I'm writing the script, I always start with, with music. I have music always playing. And then I always have when I'm writing scenes, I know the flow of, of, of the scene and what kind of music that I want to listen to. But as an independent, it's kind of hard to get certain songs that's really out there, you know, that you can listen to every day because you don't have the means to get those particular songs in your films. Um, for me, even though I have relatives in the game, I don't really go to them. So I go to like outside agencies. I've been listen. I have a couple of people that's been scoring my films that I know from college. Uh, on particular websites, there's a website out there, Perpetual Music Group, that you can go out and license certain songs. So it's, it's just it's so many different avenues now. And then you know you got YouTube and, and all these different so-called producers and what have you. So this kind of makes it you know a little bit easier, but. At the same time, if you really want quality, you need to get out there and really reach those people that you really want to get into, involved into your into your uh, project. So 